welcome to another video showcasing a Legion TD start. And in this case, we'll show off the Honey Flower and Aqua Spirit. So on wave one, Aqua Spirit can hold a snail or see a no send as well. Um, and it's no issue for it whatsoever. If we go to wave two, this is where it depends on what happens. So wave two, if they didn't send on wave one, you'll probably get a Dragon Turtle or maybe Double Snail. Dragon Turtle will leak you with the Aqua Spirit, um, but it won't be a big leak, and Double Snail you will hold. Um, but where you'll place the Aqua Spirit is top left, same as the video before, Uzora, same range. Sea Dragon, so you'll see here, it's just in the range, this will cause a split tank. So wave 2, the Honey Flower will hold very very easily, and it'd be great, so you can see here. The Aqua Spirit tanks a couple, the flower tanks to rest, and it's just a free hold. Wave 3, you don't actually have to build, so during this wave, you can just you can push pretty hard. Don't need to worry about it, essentially, for the most part. Um, if you get a Dragon Turtle here, you will leak small. If you get a Hermit, that's more of a problem, but it's very rare. Um, to show you Wave 3, we're on it already, we send the DT. And a Snail can be a pretty common send. You'll see the aqua will tank a bit, flower will tank the rest, and it won't be a full hold. It should only leak the dragon turtle from memory, so we can check this out now. So you see all the creeps are dying pretty quick. Three left and the dragon turtle, like 5% leak, it's nothing really. And you're pretty set, it means you have no pressure on wave 4, which is grand. Wave 4 is where you want to be a bit more cautious. So if they didn't send you, you can build a fire elemental. You can build some DPS, so you want it here. On the left hand side, I need the fire elemental so it can tank a bit. So it's a nice three way tank. Well, just to demonstrate, we don't need the infiltrator here for wave 3. So we'll sell this. Up to, again, like a dragon turtle snail. You'll find it'll be a pretty free hold. And again, the fire link is just split tanking with the flower, and it's a beautiful thing to hold. Wave five can be scary for honey flower starts just because of hermit. Um, and if they can get a mole from like being a fiesta and going for a pixie hard and saving on you for a long time, again, relatively scary. Um, that's when it comes in, sort of like you can put your infiltrator in. Most of the time, if they sent you on four, which is probably the case, they're not going to get a hermit on five. And they're probably going to go either probably into six or seven. So here, you can place like a unit for wave seven. Sorry, for wave six. You will hold this pretty cleanly. So if we start on wave six, you can basically upgrade that tier three unit. So whether it's like a windhawk, a gate guard, infiltrator in the case that I'm using here now. You can basically get a nice power spike off and knowing that you're pretty strong for wave six. You're pretty strong for wave seven thanks to fire elemental. Wave eight it's not too bad again because of the fire any and you can build a rogue wave. And you'll be pretty set for things. So like wave six if we go. We just start and we We'll send a Hermit, which is quite likely if they see a new flower and double DT. But a relatively big send. And you'll probably find it won't be a big leak. And at this stage, you're probably going to be on like 10 workers around that mark, maybe 8. Um, but you'd be pretty... You'd be having a good time with your workers. And I think you'll even find like... It is a leak, but it's not... A, again, it's not a terrible leak. We leak three Roccos and the Hermit. Maybe we even kill one more Rocco, the Fire Elemental allowed us with the bounces, but here they go, two Roccos, perfect. Like, it's nothing really, like, it's a complete baby leak for them sending 120 on 6. And you kind of hope your teammate would also cover you. And then Wave 7, you're pretty set again, you can just do your Rogue Wave. Um, and then I'd probably, at this stage, on Wave 7, I'd prepare for Wave 8. Wave 9, they're not going to send you because you've got your flower and they'd be scared of death cap. So you want to be looking at wave 10. Wave 11, 
a little bit scary if you your flower can't get to the wave itself so they send tanks to you that can be scary and we just pause this um and yeah wave 12 is a freehold for you the oasis because of the death cap and wave 13 you'll stop preparing for um so there's a very short video on how to use honey flower or aqua spirit to start um if they don't send you on wave two i should have covered this on wave one sorry if they send you on wave one build two aqua spirits or build a tank build a unit on the left hand side of the wall along with your aqua and you'll be fine um and i think that about covers it so i hope you enjoyed the video um it's pretty brief pretty straightforward stuff um and just trying to experiment with things so like if you don't know how things work experiment sandbox is there it's gonna be using it now it's great um and if you guys want to leave a like leave a sub um check out the discord there's a bunch of starts there and we're always helpful all right cheers thank you